Hey guys, welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. This is part two of how we do our nesting boxes on our DIY chicken coop. I'm gonna show you how I attach this part of the lid for it. So we're just gonna bring it over here. If you watch part one, you'll see that I did my angle here to be 15 degrees here on this slope. So naturally, the back edge of this nesting box lid, I also cut a 15 degree angle there with my skill saw. So we're just gonna bring it up here like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use some metal spacers on the back here. That part will be against the wall. And the only reason I'm gonna use these is so that when you open up your nesting box lid, you get you eliminate that squeaky, screeching sound because the, the hinges might squeak. But if you kind of give it a little separation, um, it's nice and quiet when you open and close it. So this is a 16th of an inch thick, two little metal plates that are also configured to 15 degrees there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place those up here underneath my lid. there and then on the overhang on these i usually like to do a couple inches on each side i don't have to measure because it doesn't have to be super symmetrical i can just tell that's about you know it's two and a half inches but on this back side we got two and a half inches there as well now, i like to buy these little um, ornamental hinges so it kind of gives our coops a little bit of a barnyard look instead of just using a plain old hinge you can do that if you want pay a couple of extra dollars and you can get this nice black hardware it's also included with a uh, these little screws that we're gonna to attach to our lid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna position this where I want it on my lid and it's gonna go about there because we're gonna drill directly onto a stud right here and then directly onto another stud on this side. But first I'm gonna attach these to the lid itself and then we'll attach it directly onto the coop. That being said, I got a position where I want it. And I'm gonna do a couple of pilot holes here. Now that I pre-drilled, we can go ahead and screw in our screws with our drill, or impact driver, I mean, just like that. Cool. Then I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the one on the other side before attaching it to my wall. That way I can see exactly where the position of them will be. Drop the one of my screws, there it is. We're gonna come over here and I know there's two studs right here. It's about five inches wide. So we're gonna go as far to the edge as I can without hitting that other screw I have there already. <laughs> you guys weren't supposed to see that cut. Try again. Now let's do it. We'll put it right here. And we're gonna do a couple of pilot holes here on this side as well. That's where my screws will go. So now the hinges are attached to just the lid and only the lid for now. These are still loose. So now we're gonna go and attach that to our studs. But instead of using those, I think they're like three quarter inch screws that we put on there that comes with the hardware. We're gonna go ahead and switch to a two inch screw just to attach to that stud a little better for more resistance. This lid is gonna open and close so many times throughout the year. So I want something to hold on to the coop itself a little better than that one little three quarter inch screw. So we're gonna go with two inch screws right here. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Cool. Reinforce it with that third one. And that should be about it. We're gonna get rid of our spacer down here. That's just sitting there loose. Get rid of our spacer on the other side. And we're gonna test it out. There we go. Nice. No squeakiness here on opening and closing. But yeah, I'm not even sure why that is, that it doesn't squeak when you put a little spacer there. I feel like the hinge isn't so tightly pressed up against the wood, so it doesn't screech on it. Either way, it works. We're gonna just attach a little hook here to hold it up while you're in here collecting your eggs. But that is how you attach a nesting box lid onto an existing coop or your DIY chicken coop that you might be building. This is part two. If you wanna see part one, where I come in here and I show you how I do all the framing of the inside of the nesting boxes and the sheeting, I'm gonna leave the link in the description or you can go ahead and click on the video up here now. It's probably gonna come up on the screen right about right here. Go ahead and click on that and then come back and watch this again if you need help on assembling your own nesting box on your chicken coop. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it today. I hope you might've learned something today or if it was of any use. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week.